Nothing like a good Oni without- Oh my god, there's more welts coming. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Alright guys, so if you have bag issues like me with this phase 6 gear, with all your first resist gear now, your trinkets, your PvP gear, your PvE gear, your old tier 1 sets, your tier 2.5 sets, your tier 2 sets, nature resist gear, fire resist gear, trinkets, vanity pets, whatever it is, if your bags are as much of a mess as mine and my bank space, this is the solution and I highly, highly recommend everyone uh, set up this add-on that I'm going to show you guys how to go through now. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so if your bags look like this and you just have no space these days because of all the random quest things that you just can't store in your bank, you have random frost resist pieces, you have consumables for your raid, you have a mix of PVP and PVE gear on you, and uh, you have 5,000 trinkets like I do here. And if you see my bank here, it's, uh, it's really no better because you can see here, I just have, I basically just have this one row of bank slots to play around with. And it's not even like I'm, missing out on good bags. I have a lot of Onyxia Hyde backpacks and then even my bank, uh, I have Onyxia Hyde backpacks and Panther Hyde sacks and things. So only a couple of these bags can actually be upgraded. So if you're like me and you're running into this issue, Addy Bags is definitely one of the better solutions. So I'll show you how to set it up now. Okay, so first things first, if you're not already using wowup.io, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's what I swapped to from the Twitch app that's been disabled these days for installing and managing your add-ons. So um, I highly recommend you go to wowup.io uh, and grab this uh, program. It makes it really easy to install and update all your add-ons that you have. So once you're on wowup.io, you go to get add-ons, make sure you have classic wow selected and type addy bags in the search. And you should find two versions. So there's Eddy Bags and then there's LVUI Eddy Bags. So for those of us that are using LVUI, so Red Tux UI, which is the base UI that I use, is built off LVUI. Uh, you can get this version, which is skinned to look pretty like the rest of your LVUI. So I highly recommend you do this. So uh, this is the one I have installed. If you're not using my uh, UI setup, so if you're not using this UI behind me uh, or not using LVUI, you can just install the normal Eddy Bags. That works great as well. And you can also see there's a bunch of other options for Eddy bags. You can actually install item rack sets. So if you use item rack, you can actually uh, display your item rack sets inside the Eddy bags add-on as well. Uh, have it separated by your item rack uh, sections, basically. So Eddy bags is a really powerful add-on that uh, has a whole bunch of additional add-ons that that work with it as well. Okay, so now let's make a few more. Uh, quality of life slash display changes that you might want for the initial setup. So type slash Addy Bags and it will open up your Addy Bags uh, customization window. So on the main bags section here, you can change your scale. So this is how big you want your bags to be. So I recommend you change it to however big or small you want it to be. You can change the columns as well for your backpack. But uh, that, that's all up to you how you want it to set it up. But uh, definitely change the scale to make it as big or as small as you want your Addy Bags to be. You can actually uh, customize it so that if you don't want it to use it for your bank, you can. But I highly recommend you use it for both your backpack and your bank, the Addy Bags add-on, because I'll show you a super, super cool way of using Addy Bags uh, in a second if you have it for your, both your bank and your backpack. Now, next thing you want to do is you go under skin. So if you're using my UI already, uh, you want to change the font to Gilroy Bold. So this is optional. There's, there's a lot of ways to set this up, but I always do Gilroy Bold, as you guys know, to match my UI. That's the main font that's used for everything. So Gilroy Bold is what you want to set if you want it to look the same as the rest of your Red Tux UI, if you're using my UI right now. Now next, under items, uh, you want to play around with this. So this is depending on how you like your free space to look. So you can see over here, we have the free space. And it's just a free space box and then the number five. So that's five free bag slots we have. Now you might like it this way or you might want to just see the five bag slots. It's up to you how you want it to display. So I kind of like to see it with my eyes visually how many bag slots I have. So I do it like this. But uh, yeah, that's up to you how you want to do it. You can actually even merge your stackable items. So if you click here, you can see it merges your stackable items together. So depending on uh, how you want it to be shown, or do you want each stack to be shown individually or not, you can, uh, you can play around with that as well. 
And one more quality of life change you can make is checking out the sword and dagger hoodies in the description below. They're super stealthy, you can wear them anywhere. I made them so that they're very low key. And by purchasing any of these sword or dagger hoodies, you help support Classic Worldcraft and all of this free content that I create for you guys. Now the most powerful feature of all of this is under filters, right? So we click on the filters section. So basically Addy Bags will let you filter however you want. So right now this is the default. You can see this is how it's set everything up default. But let's say I want a section just for my first resist gear. So one common thing that a lot of you guys are doing right now for Saffron is you get your first resist gear in and out of the bank every week. So if you want to make it a lot more streamlined there, we can uh, set up a custom filter. You can see under filters, this is the the order that it organizes your gear in. So higher priority means um, what order is going to sort it into first. So you can see manual filtering is always number one, which means if I make a manual filter, it'll put all those items into this new category. So we're going to click on manual filtering. Then here under item, let's make one for our first resist set now. So I'll show you how to do that. So under item, you just drag whatever you want. So this is one of my first resist pieces, my glacial cloak. We drag it here. Then we can name the section. So let's name it Fresh Resist or FRR. Click OK. And it's in the equipment category because it's part of my equipment. Then we click Add Association. And you can see now Glacial Cloak has its own section in my bags under FRR. And if we want to add the rest of my Fresh Resist gear, we just drag and drop now. So let's go through the rest of my Fresh Resist gear and drag it over here into this box. And you can see it's going to start adding everything in. So let's do this now for the rest of my Fresh Resist gear. Okay, so now you can see all the Fresh Resist gear on me is sorted into this nice uh, Fresh Resist section. But the power of Addy Bags comes in when you have multiple sections set up. So let's make one more set now. I'm going to make another set. So let's open Addy Bags again. So under manual filtering, I'm going to make a PVP section now. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we have another section. You can see I've added a new section called PVP with a whole bunch of PVP stuff. I'll just show you how to remove an item just in case you put something in that you don't want. So let's say uh, I've decided, oh wait, I have grenades in here. I don't want grenades as part of my PVP set. Let's put it under a separate explosive set later or something. So you can just click on the item and it will remove it from the PVP set. So it's easy to modify these sets as you want. You can just click on whatever you want under, under filters and then you see all the new categories that you made here under equipment. Uh, you can just click on what you want to get rid of from the set and it'll get rid of it. So now we have two sets though. So I'll show you how to use the power of Addy Bags now that we have two sections of custom, uh, custom equipment sorted out. So let's close this and let's go to our bank. So let's say we have the bank slots now. So this is the amount of free space I have in my bank. So let's say I have all my PVP gear in the bank. So let's put all of this uh, PVP gear here into the bank. So you can see my bag slot is running out. So I have no more free space. You can see these are all the items I just added in. So let's say uh, I'm, I'm just coming back from raiding, right? So this is, this is my gear on me. Okay, so now let's say you're coming back from raiding. We got our bag slot set up. Now because Addy Bags remembers your categories even in the bank as well. So it's already organized everything for us. So let's say I just want to put my, uh, grab all my PVP gear out of the bank. It's as easy as just right clicking all this stuff. All right, and then putting all the fresh resist into the bank. And once we close the bank, for example, and reopen it, you can see it's all sorted into our nice first resist uh, set down here already, right? So Eddy Bags is super, super uh, powerful like this. So you can it makes it really easy for you to get stuff out of the bank, get, put stuff into the bank. Uh, as, as long as you make all these custom categories, so it's all about making more than one of these custom categories. You want to make uh, custom sets for everything that you do. So I might have a PVP section, a PVE section, um, a nature resist section, a fresh resist section. So you want to make custom sets for all your different uh, sections. And uh, that that's how you use the power of Addy Bags. So I hope this has helped you out. Uh, basically, this is, uh, this is how I've managed to sort my bags and make them a lot less messy and a lot easier to organize and, and sort my gear in and out. Uh, especially for those of us who are badly, badly running out of uh, free spots in our bank. Oh, and one more thing. If you uh, find some things are misclassified, 
So for example, let's say Stratholme Holy Water here, you can see this is listed under quest, but it's not really a quest item. Uh, this is more of a consumable that you're going to use. So you can drag your Stratholme Holy Water here under the header, and you can just drop it under consumables, All right? So click there, and now it's a consumable. And it'll remember that, right? Next time I open up my bags, it's classified as a consumable. So you can just drag and drop and uh, reclassify sections or, and add different sections. It's, it's super, super easy to customize your Addy bags. It just takes a, a little bit of time. We set aside like an hour of time to get all your custom sections set up. Yeah, so once you have all of these uh, customizations made, you dragged all the things you want to the right sections, you made the custom sections you want, like your, your own PvP section, or you can even have a trinket section or an explosive section. You can do whatever you want with Addy Bags with all the custom filters and sets. And this will organize your bags uh, how you want and make it super, super easy. And just remember, it remembers it for the bank as well. So if you open your bank, it's going to remember any custom sections you make for the bank as well and it'll carry over. So uh, yeah, that's the power of Addy Bags. Go ahead and sort out your bags and save yourself a lot of headache. All right, so if you like this video, I really appreciate it if you give it a like, and if you're not subscribed already, you know what to do. But most of all, I wanna thank you guys for the feedback on the last video I did. I started a brand new YouTube series. It's basically behind the scenes of what it's like becoming a streamer, and I'm intending to give you guys these updates and episodes of how I make my income, how I grow my stream, basically everything I want to document step by step, how I do everything behind the scenes from starting up my stream, how I got partnered within a month of streaming, how I um, made a very successful merch line that's that's really supplemented my income, how I diversified my income, and, and how I basically live full-time income with only 100 average viewers. And um, I want to continue this series all the way until I get up to a 10,000 average viewers or however far we go. So yeah, I appreciate all the positive feedback and if you want to check out that new series behind the scenes of the stream that I just started, it's linked in the description below and it's going to pop up around here somewhere in a second. Alright, catch you guys in the next video.